man. What the fuck going on, YouTube? Man, y'all know who it is, man. It's your boy, Big One, bro. And I'm back in the cut with another video for y'all. So, let's check this out, man. We got Baton Rouge, Louisiana under our radar, man. We got NBA Youngboy and Scotty Kane, man. So, look. If a lot of people don't know about that that young boy back 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 in the day, that 2016 young boy, you feel me? They might help you catch up a little speed. Like y'all just don't know. Like you feel me? Back then, that little nigga was hard as fuck. I mean, he's still hard as fuck right now, but it's just crazy. Like you feel me? After all these years, seeing him develop and grow and shit like that, it's crazy though. But look, before we hop into this video, NBA young boy versus Scotty Kane, the buzz and Baton Rouge that started war. You feel me? I need y'all to smash that subscribe button. Click that bell to be notified when I'm uploading a video. Follow me on all my social media, man. Links in the description down below. Y'all come to you. Y'all come to with me. Y'all come rock out with me. Let me know what kind of videos y'all want to see. 2023, we, I mean, yeah, 2023, we shoot number movies, man. Y'all not going to want to miss it. So make sure y'all stay tuned. And further ado, bro, let's check out. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Like, yeah, what happened between these two? What happened between these two, man? Because I don't. I don't want to say Scotty can't put Young Boy on, but it's like, damn, what really did put you? I think it was the beef that really got Young Boy his buzz. The beef with Scotty Kane and uh and G and G Money. Cause the first one I heard from him was murder. And then at the murder, it was 38, 38 baby did it too. Yeah, thirty eight baby was fucking jumping. But hey, let's check it out though. Around the years 2013, 2014, and 2015, Scotty Kane, you know, he was well known in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. A lot of his music videos would be getting hundreds of thousands of views. You know, some of them would even get a million and pass a million. Then this young 16-year-old artist, you know, started getting some buzz around the city at the end of 2015. And, you know, his name was NBA Youngboy, but he didn't you know, have no buzz, you know, to the point where he was in the 100K on no videos just yet. And then, you know, him and Scotty Kane ended up getting in the studio and they recorded a song called Homicide. At this point, it's the beginning of 2016. Young Boy Views, you know, they going up. And, you know, Young Boy, he get to hanging out with Scotty Kane, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, artists like Main Music, you know, people who already built up a name in Ben Rouge and basically, right, right. you know, everybody just showing them love. I don't know exactly when everything went wrong, but, you know, the first thing I seen NBA Youngboy, you know, he has since got a cane of message in his music video so long. You know, he had said without the track with Scotty, 100,000 on my own. Shortly after that, Scotty Kane, you know, he was like, NBA young boy pulled up to the studio and begged him, you know what I'm saying, to hop on the verse. And basically, he said he wasn't going to do it at first, but then he said, man, he was like giving young dudes a chance. So he did it. Then after that, young boy started asking him and begging him to go have on music videos and shoes. And, you know, Scotty Kane was like, if that, you know what I'm saying, I'm not doing that. You're not part of my label. And he said, you know, TBG, you know, Fredo Bang and G-Money label, you know, they wanted to do something to him after he got done meet Ryan them. And then he said, now that he owned and all of that, he doing a lot of stunt. And he said, man, you know what I'm saying, drop your money. After that, NBA Youngboy got on Instagram and he began singing his hit song, Gravity. At the time, you know what I'm saying, basically just saying how he don't owe nobody name except for his mama, you know, and his dudes because they was behind him. You know, all facts, nigga, Mafia music. Scotty, you know what it is, nigga. I've been doing it. Y'all niggas out here, you know, stunting like y'all really, yeah. But look, I'm gonna address the situation like a man. Drove my cousin. Y'all came to the studio. He begged me to do the first verse. I did not want to do it. I thought about it. I'm like, well, I'm gonna go ahead and get this little nigga a chance. I did the verse. Your asked me to put some on your shoes. You're not with my label. So, doing, go and have with you on shoes and videos for nigga. You was over there riding TBG, TBG. Wanted to raw your out. Now you come trying to rub my feet. Now you get on and do all this extra that bread. Kill a nigga. Drop your bread, man. What the nigga? Don't do all that other Hear me. Come see me. Show a nigga you really living like that. Because you know me. I'm living like that all day, every day. You know how I'm coming, nigga. And it's facts. All facts, nigga. Yeah. You know what it's hitting on, nigga. <laughs> That shit crazy, bro. Hating, hating bad as fuck, bro. 
Came bad as fuck. That nigga basically just said he hate on him. What he just said? He said, now you own that. You got a little buzz. Nigga hating, bro. the fuck? Scotty, you too old to be doing that shit. Now look at you. You feel me? I don't be bad about nobody, but now look at you. Look how the tables flip, bro. This nigga rich as fuck, my nigga. You could have you could have been rich, rich as fuck, just like him, right beside him. But instead, you want to do shit for the internet. Call him out about how broke he was, and you feel me? Like that, that, would, that would be y'all niggas' fault, bro. And I know, I know because you feel me. My baby mama's uh, did that shit. Like when we get into it, they try to throw up me. They try to throw about me doing YouTube and shit, and how I ain't successful yet and shit like that. But I just laugh at them because hey. <laughs> At the end of the day, <laughs> when this shit pop off, <laughs> y'all gonna be the ones looking hurt as fuck. You feel me? Me and my kids rich as fuck, living our life. You feel me? Y'all still stuck where y'all live, but that's why you can't. You feel me? Like, damn, bro, what? How you gonna say? You ain't want to do the verse. You ain't want to help the little nigga out. But you did the verse, and he actually gonna have from the video, bro. That's part of helping him out. What the fuck? You did the verse for free, so shit. Why you? Fuck yourself up, cuz. Nigga, you see me gang gang. G for life. Yeah, yeah. I'm not all no bad. But my mama for it. And my niggas, cuz they was doing this. This be my favorite song, Gravity. Remember, I had none of the heat. I go still for it. So you my bank account. I swear I got six figures, Lord. Yeah. Probably won't snake me for it. These niggas under the sky. Living none of the boy. Dumb trouble to take me and play gonna die cause I ain't going for it. I was saying, I pray I make it through the night. And right through my city, yeah, I'm thinking, looking at the light. For some long we was hurting and I got the chance to make it right. For the times you done hurt me, I done been all along at night. They claim to do it. Towards the end of 2016, you know, right. around October, this was getting kind of dropped. I know that it's gonna be alright. Can't get knocked on my pivot, I gotta NBA, play my card right. NBA For so long I've been struggling, you know going hard trying to make it right. So much pain in my body, you know, you can see it in my eyes. Ooh, that's my shit right there. I mean, I would have, oh, shit, I forgot about the video. I was going to rep the whole goddamn song to y'all on that thing, bro. Then another rapper from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, that was affiliated with Scotty Kane. You know what I'm saying? His name, Pablo El Chapo. He had Kane Martin said that, you know, he say NBA young boy life you know when they was waving guns to his face and he was crying in the studio and all of that man shout out to all my street niggas man i'm gonna tell you something you independent you're not signed to no nigga and you really get bands on the street you're gonna have to throw shots at you you know the real street niggas know what's happening with pavo you hear me they know what's over there chapo nigga i'm 10 toes i'm beneficial ain't no nigga never did me and that never happened, so I'm not put that on my mama yet. I remember, I know this song he talking about when uh, YB was like, uh, you slap Pablo with a gun. You ain't never slap with B. Slap YB, you ended them niggas career. You can't put an end to me. Hashtag an OG. Pussy bitch, you ain't no friend of me. <laughs> never hated, bitch. I made it. Probably why these niggas envy me. What song was that? I think that was, uh, fuck, what was the name of that song? Damn, I can't think, but yeah, 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 true. I'm on point now, I'm on point, I'm on track. But I do know, little young boy, when niggas pull them rods on you, she was crying in that studio, nigga. I saved your life, nigga. I told my younger man, leave that, let that nigga slide, bro. That nigga crying, man. That nigga crying in front of his manager, man. Let that nigga slide. He ain't about that gang. Y'all asked him to fight, the nigga didn't want to fight. Then when the nigga brought up the gun, we could do it with the gun. Niggas pulled three guns in your face, she was crying. This boy, Chapo saved you, nigga. But still, think about it, though. Y'all way older than this nigga. Young boy's on, like, 15, 16. Y'all waving the guns at a 16-year-old face. And then who don't get mad when they, who don't cry when they mad? I know when I'm, that, that's how my family know when I'm mad as fuck. When, when I'm crying, that's how you know when I'm mad. And if you, you get me to the point where I'm crying when I'm mad, bitch, you finna die. I ain't gonna lie to you. On that thing, right here on the Bible, like I ain't even finna fake it. If if you get me that mad to the point where I'm crying, you finna die. Like just go, on, you feel me? Your life in the end, right there on the spot. I swear to God, no cap. Ain't much your mouth, this boy. It's for young boy. 
then at the end of 2016, NBA Youngboy ended up getting arrested. You know, it's December 2016. So, you know, going into January 2017, Scotty Kane, you know, he was, you know, doing interviews and he was speaking on stuff. And basically, you know, he said, man, you know, he ain't worrying about beefing with nobody. He ain't trying to kill nobody. You know what I'm saying? He got too much going on. You know what I'm saying? And basically, he was like, man, you know, he regret making an NBA smoke song, you know, and he feel like that was one of his biggest flaws. Look, man, I'm, I'm on the road to success, man. I ain't with none of that. Nah, no. nah, 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 nah. He's a head cop and please. <laughs> He's had with me that white flag. Because I think that that was at the, uh, was that at the, what's called the probably got hurt? I don't know, but yeah. Smoke did so many views, I regret it. I, I feel like that was my flaw, that song, you feel me? So, y'all niggas saying that that bitch wrong. I'm about to cash this check for $50,000 for an accident I was involved in over five. That bitch raw and all that nigga did, nigga try to do this and that. I don't even like the song, tell the truth. I, I hate that the shit, I don't care how many views this shit got on it, you feel me? No, I ain't got the picture, but when. NBA Youngboy came home in 2017, you know what I'm saying? Basically, Scotty Kane welcomed him home and all of that. And, you know, everybody thought the situation was dead. But then <laughs> Scotty Kane had posted a stack of $20 bills, man. And when he had put this video up on his Instagram, man, NBA 3-3, you know, he had sent Scotty Kane a message and they went back and forth. After he had said that big stack of 20, you flashing ain't half of this. Hashtag GG young boy. Then, like two months later, Scotty Kane chain had allegedly got snatched. And you know, some dudes were talking about it on FaceTime and they covered their face up with the emoji. You know what I'm saying? And next thing you know, young boy clowned him and he said he ain't going out like Scotty Kane, man. Dad, what's that? You ought to be glad I took that. Scary. Jammed up. Nigga just bullshit. Oh, nigga, they had the fix. The fix that bro. Nigga, you. Boys, nigga, that mess, nigga. Hey, look. Shot way from the interstate. Boy, you. Hey, that's that game. Nigga, no ease. Summer's right here. That's all we got. Damn, they was cussing that much. They had to mute that bitch. Shit. Damn, nigga. Boy, damn, nigga. Take anything off my dick. Hot. 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 Two months later, in September 2017, Scotty Kane and NBA Youngboy, they squashed the beef. And, you know, they had got on FaceTime. Youngboy had a bag on his ear. You know, Scotty Kane put it on his Instagram. And in the caption, he had said, we talk about positive stuff and getting that bag. Loyalty over living. We both got VVSs. Hashtag gang stuff. Pressure on the way. But you never seen these two together or collab. You know, after that, man. And right, then, damn, man. You know, they took this picture. What the fuck? That's crazy. About three years later, in August 2020, man, Scotty Kane, he got beat real badly. In the yeah, I seen that video, bro. They beat the fuck out, Scotty. That's tough, bro. Studio, you know, he was jumping all of that. You know what I'm saying? He had blood all over his face and everything. And basically, you know, one of young boy right here, man's, you know, D Dog. D Dog you know, crazy ass. <laughs> Scotty Kane, a message, you know what I'm saying? After he got beat up, he went on his Instagram and he said, OMG is K, baby, head punched off his shoulder, speaking on Big Brother and trying to snake it only on site. And this began 
you know, everybody to conclude that D Dog and NBA had something to do with this because, you know, he said that he got his head knocked off his shoulder for speaking on, you know, young boy, you know, and snaking the dude that he tagged. And then when Jaden Yang got killed in July 2022, a fan said, Don't forget why B still the same dude. They got slept by Scotty Kane in the studio. And, you know, Scotty Kane reposted this, you know, because he was close with Jaden Yang. You know what I'm saying? And Jaden Yang was also beefing with NBA Youngboy. So this July 2022, you know, the last thing, something happened between the two of them. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy, you know, to see. You know, these dudes with this long feud, they ended up getting squashed and they started back, you know what I'm saying? And they started working. Damn, so that that was, it said July 20, 2022. That was this year. So I just didn't get his ass beat the fuck up. Teeth knocked out and shit in the studio. <laughs> he still trying to fucking heat, bruh. You know, before Yumbo was even in his prime, man. But yeah, y'all, this is basically the story. Or the beef between NBA Youngboy and Scotty Kane. You know, they've been kind of into it since, you know, Youngboy was 16 years old. But Youngboy, he moved out of town and all of that, you know what I'm saying? I ain't no telling, man. But, you know, Youngboy, he beefing with a lot of more rappers anyway. But, yeah, y'all, y'all coming down below with y'all women speaking on next in the comment section down below. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And until the next video, I'll catch y'all. I'm out. Bruh, that shit crazy. That nigga. <laughs> Hell no, nah, man. Oh, shit. Excuse me. So. Hey, Hoodsville. See, that's why, that why I be trying to tell people, though. Shut the fuck up. You Bitch. <laughs> fuck you speaking for. But like, that's why I be trying to tell niggas, bro. Like. After you the After you. Been a hang with a nigga for so long, bro. And then all of a sudden, that nigga want to squash the beef or whatever. Bro, if y'all squash the beef, bro, don't be on no friendly shit with it. Like, I be telling my brothers these shit. Like, bro, don't get back on no friendly shit with this nigga. Bro, you never know what, how a nigga trying to set you up, snake you out, none of that. And listen to what he said. He said, goddamn, uh... What the fuck is that? Listen to what he said. He said, goddamn, old dude was trying to set somebody up or some shit like that, but, man, that shit crazy as hell, bro. Hell nah, but, hey, y'all come down below let me know what y'all think, man. What's got a cane been there? Like, what's up with him? You know what I'm saying? Like, he straight. Is he he locked up or he, you know what I'm saying? He's still in Baton Rouge. You feel me? Like, he he let rapping go for good or what's up with Scott Kane? Y'all give me an update and comment down below. Make sure y'all uh, smash the subscribe button. Click that bell to be notified when I upload a video. Follow me on all my social media, man. 2023, we taking off like a rocket. We going crazy, bro. Y'all stay tuned. I got bangers on the way. No cap in it. Next video, go. Like, don't even leave nowhere. You feel me? Go take your little break. Grab your little popcorn. Grab your little snacks, your little drink. Go, roll you up a little backwood. You know what I'm saying? Your little blunt, your little Zaza, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Just don't, don't sip no lean. Don't grab no perk. You know what I'm saying? Just roll up your Zai. You know what I'm saying? Get some little wine, a little Henny dog, whatever. Pull up, sit back, relax, and go to the next video. Nigga, I'm going to catch you there.